Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Oxygen Not Included here in the Ultimate Base 4.0. I just wanted to show you that we also experience meteor showers here on the second planetoid. However, these ones are really interesting because it is oxalite and it doesn't seem to be damaging anything. If we just check out this meteorite, it is creating some oxalite tiles without destroying any of the other ones. There are also other types of asteroids in this, such as this one here, which is just named a dust fluff meteor. It is creating some regolith, but it is also not damaging any materials. So we wouldn't have to set up any bunker tiles here and we might get away creating oxygen using the oxalite here. We just have to bring it down in time. Now I don't really think we can actually do this in time. However, we can try just going up without a ladder and therefore also make it harder for the gases to escape. Then we might be able to collect some of this oxalite here and immediately bring it back downstairs. We could set up a storage right here, maybe some airflow tiles at the bottom and then kind of well the storage been in. Nisbet thankfully is already on the task. Very nice I gotta say. I can still count on her. So by the time we get the next meteor shower we should be taking full advantage of that. Until then let's set up a fire pole as well and then maybe just continue the ladder. But I want to emphasize digging up the oxalite we already have here so we can immediately bring it down before it evaporates away. We can then also install a mechanized airlock right here in order to prevent the gases from escaping. And if we wanted, we could even continue the wire all the way up in order to make this faster. Alert surface breach. Yes, we know that. I got my storage bin in place here. We're gonna target oxalite, set this to the highest priority. And now I also want to speed up the building of this. So now Ari should be bringing the oxalite. Yeah, because we have it at priority 9 and he's bringing it down here. Oh no. We got Ari with a radiation sickness already. How many rats do you have? You have 39 rats and that already gives you a minor radiation sickness. This is... Wow, okay. We gotta be slightly careful about this. So I think for now I'm not gonna dig too far away. Maybe just the stuff that is closest. Oh no, Nisbet did something terrible. Ah, why did you do that? How are you gonna get down now? Uh, do I have materials? We have some mafic rock right here. If we dig that up, I should be able to build a mafic rock ladder. Mafic rock, build that here. And also highest priority. And so nobody has to die. Okay, wait. Are we storing the oxalite? Ari, how are you doing? 65 rats. Not good. But it's still just minor radiation sickness. Now I need to be careful. As soon as I open this up, we're gonna have the full load of radiation well it's barely safe so i think what i want to do is emphasize building the mechanized airlock so right now we have what what is that 179 rats per cycle and now with the airlock ooh, that changed nothing 140 yeah okay it takes away about 40 rats so maybe we even build two more of these guys now for some reason they don't want to store the oxal ah of course <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Yeah, let's take that away. Now we're actually storing the oxalite in the correct spot. And once we replace these tiles with airflow tiles, we should be filling up the interior of the base as well. Now let's check out Nisbet, currently 34 rads. And once she uses the toilet, she loses what? Okay, I think that is also much more with the lower setting. Now she's washing her hands. That doesn't get rid of any rads. Good. There are now my airflow tiles. Let's have a look at the oxalite here. Is it even off-gassing? At least it looks like there is new oxygen coming in from the top. Yeah, there's definitely something happening here. Okay, good. You know, I realize there's one problem here. They use the toilet, then they try to wash their hands, but all they do is stand here, grab their food with the food poisoning still on them, and then they wash their hands with the food, and then they go eat. So that is entirely bad, and one way we can fix that is by putting the fridge over there. Printing some murf leaf seeds for the first time, that's also just a decorative plant. By the way, on the main planetoid, everything should be good. Let's pick up the eggs here. Slowly but surely, the bathroom loop here is filling up, and that means we need to take care of the excess. And I think what I'm gonna do is just drop it down, so it drops all the way down and it will be frozen, and therefore shipped over to the main planetoid. 
on the main planetoid, my biggest concern right now is making it inside of the gold volcano. So I'm going to emphasize building this part here a little bit. By now we have accumulated quite a bit of sand, so I think we should be able to install more deodorizers. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. May also got yet another skill point. What should we go for? What do we eventually need? The problem is always we at least need super hard digging. So there's going to be another three morale points spent into that. But most of the time, May is just going to be in space. It's going to be a space dupe, maybe with some field research, but I don't know yet. Let's just go for rocketry. But in the short term, probably exosuit training is more beneficial. I'm going to lock it in. This pip is emptying my storage. You bastard. Come on, I'm going to take you on. What? I already got a major radiation sickness with only a hundred rats. Oh jeez, this playthrough is gonna be horrible. But at least it's gonna force me to at least use some radiation protection. And what is this freaking shine bug? Just get out of my base. Okay, now we're down to 100 rats and all the way down here, it's barely anything. Okay, so it's mostly safe. Yeah, now we got some radiation vomiting. That's just gonna be part of the course, but it's good. We need to get it out of the system. There's uh, more rats going. Ari, right, you're doing a good job. Major radiation sickness, if you didn't know, in normal mode is 300 rats. And here it is just above 100. Let me actually see, does showering help anything? 67 rats and after showering the same. Well, too bad. Also, by the way, major radiation sickness uses minus 4 athletics, 50% stamina and 30% increased bathroom use speed. Jeez, it's not something we want to deal with on the regular. Okay, you know, at this point, I might even be able to send Nisbet back in order to relax a little bit on the friendly home planetoid. However, before we do that, I would like to demolish everything I need to demolish, like these lamps here. We're not going to be able to reach everything in a reasonable time. Well, maybe in the name of exploration, I can make my way down here. We're going to inspect and rummage these guys, demolish that light, and that hopefully was everything. Maybe there's another something here, but then, alas... So finally, I'm gonna make my way through here. Demolish that thing. What is this? This just belongs to the filing cabinet. Doctorate degree. Cheese. Demolish. Landscape portrait. Demolish. Director's desk. Demolish. What is this? Pedestal. That's fine. This can stay. Okay, it looks like we at least need a little bit of support. Maybe with a simple oxygen diffuser. Set this up here at the bottom and then get a cable down there. Also, before I forget, refrigerator goes to the other side. And then instead of sending Achi over to the main planetoid where we are currently not using it, we could send over the Achi. Hmm, we only have four tons of slime. Oh my gosh. Sorry for the distraction. How much is this using? Just four kilograms a cycle. Okay. Should last for a while. Let's see. My current way over here to the teleporter is not very convenient. Would be nicer to maybe use this path here. So build a ladder up there. And then we can easily go over. And we can even collect some more algae. And then we send over the algae. Organic algae. All the algae we can find. We're just going to send over to the second planetoid. Let me actually think. We also have like 229 tons of polluted dirt. Considering the algae might be really useful for early space missions i think i'm just gonna send over polluted dirt so forget about that but that still means we need a little bit of power over there i think this is easy enough just sending it over this way i'm even gonna take the opportunity to set up a couple more batteries my plug slugs are just doing a too good job to not take advantage of it on the main planetoid by now i feel like i don't need the entire dupe labor anymore so i'm gonna enable the showers and they're actually quite beneficial when it comes to certain states it cures sopping wet soggy feet minor and major eye irritation and it also gives plus three morale so we can go a little bit further with the skill points and especially the eye irritation by now is something that might be useful since we accumulated quite a bit of hydrogen Speaking of skill points, we have some more to give out. Before we do data analysis researcher, I'm just going to go for suit sustainability training to make Gene even faster. As for Ren, we want to rush the mechatronics engineering. 
well, we don't really have to rush it, but there you go. I just want this part of the tech tree out of the way. Okay, I think on the home planet toy, since we're missing the main builder, I need to prioritize some of that stuff here. Especially when it comes to getting that conveyor loader ready. We're almost running out here of oxygen and I'm totally ready here with my sublimation station. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send Nisbet back home and I'm gonna leave Ari to his own devices. There we go. Time to go back home, Nisbet. I hope you had a good trip. It looks like we're slightly overproducing the food and I believe we can just send over the swamp chart hearts to the second planetoid. I'm gonna add that to the list here. Edible, we got swamp chart hearts. They're just gonna stay fresh forever on the second planetoid. And so I don't have to worry for approximately 100 cycles together with the food we already have there. It finally happened. Allow manual use. And I'm gonna give this a little bit of priority but just until somebody got the errand that's good and then we can set it back to priority five if we can get started with a thousand kilograms of polluted dirt that will arrive here on the second planetoid wonderful then we can already get the sublimation station going supplying critical materials that is exactly what i want you to do ari perfect there it goes. That was actually the polluted dirt from the water sieve, which is why we already ran out again. But there we go. We can now get this started just with two deodorizers because I still have to produce the sand myself, which we are still doing here with Igneous Rock. Let's just put this to 90 crafts. And I also made my way in here. So it's time to set up the liquid lock. I'm just going to do some auto bottling here with normal water. Maybe we can even make use of what we have going on here. We can make a pitcher pump out of granite. This is what I have lying around here. Let's see if Nisbet... No, Nisbet is not doing it. Who is doing it? May. I want Nisbet to do it. She's already here. So I'm just going to move her over. And before she gets a new job, I'm going to set that up again. And now nobody is doing it. Come on. Thank you. Okay, finally. We got that pitcher pump and now we can easily deliver the water. I'm also going to dig up here a little bit in order to get access to that polluted dirt that will off gas a little bit and allow my dupes to breathe. Oh, wait a second. Of course, we first have to insulate that stuff. Yeah, that's not going to fly otherwise. In the meantime, on the second planetoid, breathability is going up again and we are still on all the building projects. So I guess we can continue by starting to dig up some of the planetoid. I don't necessarily want to dig up everything because we have a lot of cooling potential in this, but a tiny bit won't hurt us. Also, I really would like to see another fire pole here, maybe. And then, of course, we also need to start digging out some of the iron here that we can find. I'm also transporting away all of the debris that is still cold, so the water cannot be influenced anymore. Looks like we have some more skill points to give out. Let's get started with Lyra. Let me see. Unlike May, Lyra is going to be a dupe I want to leave on a planetoid. So rocket piloting isn't going to be as important. That means we might get away just doing field research and then invest into digging and maybe tinkering. I'm going to do field research for the time being and also give her the hat. As for Joshua, we're going to continue with rocket piloting so we can get into the suit sustainability. And Amari, let me think, Amari, you could just finish off with exosuit training. Finally, Ari is kind of the same as Lyra. So we are done here. We don't need the rocket piloting except for the suit sustainability and we'll be needing mechatronics engineer so i think i should get started on that with that out of the way i'm gonna give my dupes access here quickly and also grab the materials i printed from the printing part now, even if we don't have it yet on this planetoid, I'm already gonna set the meal lice actually to be cooked into lice loaf. Only do that if you have enough water. We should have enough because it costs 50 kilograms of water just to add 500 kilocalories. Thinking about it, this is not really worth it. Yeah, we do have the time to just cook it and make it preserve a little bit better. Like we could be making pickled meal out of it. Sure, we only should do the lice loaf if we are desperate for kilocalories. Calories. Looks like my liquid lock here is stable enough. We can take this apart and keep going with the build. Looks like some of our swamp chart hearts just entered the world here. We have another 10 cycles time. But of course we're delivering this entire ration here. Maybe, yeah, somebody should be picking that up. 
we can bring it directly over to the conveyor loader to the second planetoid. Nothing is going to happen. Right up here, I want to build my smeltery. But today, I want to wrap up by getting into the volcano and checking things out a little bit. We can dig away all the tiles except for this one here if we want to keep it overpressured. And of course, everything is going to remain inside a vacuum. We can even dig up this gold, which is going to give us 400 kilograms of refined material. Great. And just like that, we now have 95,000 kilograms calories that's enough to survive 100 cycles well 95 cycles technically but we also still have lots of excellent fruit to harvest speaking of harvesting let's go ahead and do that and check this out this is the other planetoid i don't get why they can't fix it ah maybe it has something to do with the zoom mod yeah i usually probably wouldn't be able to see the other planetoid but it's kind of funny they're all next to each other i think with ari i need to prioritize life support a little bit so we should probably do that with Lyra as well. Now we're actually delivering something to the deodorizer and it can get to work here with the polluted oxygen. Also, Ari should be attacking whenever I tell him to do so because right now the shine box are not helping. I think something I want to change right here is add a pneumatic door so the plug slugs don't get out anymore. I found one actually snacking up some gold amalgam and that's a no-go. Now there's one thing I need to be aware of. Who is my farting dupe? There's a farting dupe and I forgot who it is. It is Joshua. Joshua is my cook and he shouldn't go down here because he's not allowed anywhere near the vacuum for obvious reasons. In the meantime, let's get all of these materials out of the way as well. And also we can add them here to the storage bin since it's the first time we're getting refined gold. This reminds me, we should probably continue in the tech tree. Yeah, I want metal tiles. Where do we have that? Right here. Metal tiles and the refinery. It's time to get that out of the way. Oh, by the way, now that I have a refrigerator in here, this should count as a kitchen. And yes, it does. This is also a great hall. Did we manage to get the great hall bonus on the second planetoid? This is a mess hall still. Oh, we need to add that flower. Ari is taking care of it. Yeah, the body temperature isn't right. Of course, that's fine. Because if I'm not mistaken, no. Ah, crap. It doesn't count as a great hall without it actually being active. Body temperature should be above 20 degrees. Eventually, we might get there. But let's protect ourselves from the heat. Uh, I want to save that oxy fern. So let's do it this way. Just need to wait for it to heat up a little bit. The fridge is going to contribute the deodorizer probably a little bit. And then all of the sink stuff here as well. Let's put the move thing to the test. This is 1,800 kilograms of water. If I move this over here, let's see how quickly that happens. Wow, we got meteor showers on both planetoids at the same time. Well, thank you very, very much. Well, on this planetoid, I'm actually looking forward to it because we get lots and lots of oxalite that we can then use to support our oxygen system. But on the main planetoid, this could be devastating and we might want to observe that for a little bit. I mean, check this out. What was that? Jeez, all these different types of asteroids. Okay, looks like it is a shorter meteor shower here on the first planetoid. That is good to know. We got another achievement. Reveal 80% of the map by exploring outside the starting baum. With Ari, it looks like we really want to get into the first digging skill so we can finish stuff like this. At the moment, my pipes are breaking because the water is getting too cold. And that is, of course, because the cold is still seeping in here. But he's still a little ways off. Okay, in the meantime, on the main planetoid, we are basically ready. I just want to ship away these materials and then the plan is to let the volcano erupt at least once. The liquid gold is then eventually going to drop over here. It is going to drop down and hopefully solidify or even turn into debris. I'm taking everything. And then once it's cold enough, I should be able to pick it up and bring it somewhere else or maybe at least use it for building material. I'm gonna get Meep into the sustainability training and then as for Nisbet, let's do improved carrying. 
Yeah, may I'm not so sure. Field research, maybe now. Uh, no, wait, it's the astronaut. Yeah, we're gonna go for rocket piloting. We now have some elderly plug slugs. This guy is not gonna give me any more eggs, so I'm just gonna kill him off, and then we can wrangle up another guy and bring him up to replenish the numbers. Also, I figured what I can do is just let them get hungry, so they're not gonna eat every day. They're still gonna produce 1,200 watts or so, way more than I'm requiring. And then once I see them actually starving, I'm gonna replenish the critter feeder once, and then that's good. Now, before I forget, I wanna check out Slime Lung. Slime Lung does a minus 1% per second breath and minus 3 athletics and of course coughing. So that's not good. Oh, oh, oh crap. Is somebody? No, that's not good. Okay, I can see the problem now. So the Slime Lung is coming from here. I did. How did I not see that? Jeez. Is the problem the slime storage? No, we don't have any errands. So that means it's just the germs that are currently present here. We currently have 11 tons of sand, so we can go a little bit nuts. Maybe set up three or four deodorizers here. Yeah, let's just bring the heavy watt wire around there. Deodorizers everywhere. Cheese. And that is an emergency because slime lung, it's not funny. No, I can see some slime over here that is actually not reachable. So maybe if we go down here, we can go up there and go up here and then just grab this slime. Okay, I think we're ready. Let's freaking do it. We're gonna dig up the last tile right there. Get that volcano going. Also very nice to wrap up the episode is that we get the mechatronics engineering skill. This is gonna be super useful. Okay, we're now starting to clean up the air. That means eventually we might get rid of the slime lung. Cheese. How did I not see that for such a long time? I want to see this happen. Yes. Okay. Nice. Let's go ahead and pick up the igneous rock. Though that one might heat up very quickly. Uh, actually, not that quickly. Look at that. It's still at 2.5 degrees. It's not even interacting with the liquid. Okay, looks like we only got 70 kilograms of gold with the first eruption. And it's currently sitting there at 2000 degrees. Okay, I like where this is going. The next time we might be able to also analyze it and then start collecting that precious gold. I'm gonna leave this all intact until the actual tiles here start to heat up. And then we're gonna keep on digging and expanding a little bit. Just taking advantage of the chill here until we are ready to set up a proper volcano tamer. But with that out of the way, thank you so much for watching. Watching, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. Have a great time and see you soon. Bye bye.